We dropped. Hey, but it's okay. It happens, you know? It happens. Still, though, hey. If, if I'm on the listeners, hey, appreciate that. Come on now. Shout out to Tall in Estonia. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Budesti, Romania. Shout out to Emen Netherlands. And shout out to Amsterdam Netherlands. Hey, love all y'all mentals as always. Hey. Hey, you already know. I'm kind of hyped for Rimworld, but... You know me, late game is gonna lag and uh, I'm just gonna quit the game because it's lagging. I don't know why I keep hoping that it's not gonna lag this time, but we'll see. Anyway, though, um, daily cringe. <laughs> Please, Andrew Tate. No, he looks down at the video of Andrew Tate. Seeing him speak. But suddenly, it seems like his faith in God and the Bible are being replaced with Andrew Tate. He doesn't seem to mind the change. He texts back to you again. This feels so different. What? But it feels so right. You right? <laughs> <laughs> it literally sounds like a ship, like, uh, leaving the port. Knock, knock. Goes to sleep. Hey, wake up! He says, lightly tapping your shoulder with his one free hand. What's the other hand doing? Hey, yo. Oh. Never mind. It's um. Bread burger. Bread Did you just burger. say? Bread burger. Yeah. Bread. Bread burger. That's why I'm in here. And what the hell is a bread burger supposed to be? You either know it or you don't. William no. lets out a screech of pain and falls down on his knees, writhing in agony. <laughs> like what is that sound? Hey yeah 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 yeah. I had three hearts. Better than nothing. I'll take it. Surely, surely, only positivity. He kept running left, right. He can't even fist. Hey, hello, Sabin. Hope you're doing good. Hey, turn that negative energy into positive energy. Four hearts, looking good. What is this? You should drag your lyrics out a bit more. Like when you say three shots in the head, but this is fire, keep going. Oh. That's a success in my book if I have ever had one. Shit. Appreciate the love. Hey, how you doing, Spam Doll? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing uh, a bit better today. There's no negativity for some reason. More excited than usual today. Uh, yeah, I'm playing Rim Mode, my one of my favorite games. But uh, we'll see if it starts to lag or what. Late game gets kind of laggy because I have mods and shit, which I kind of hate. But it is what it is. Um. I think everything is good. LT is on controller, dumbass. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's uh, LT and RT, right? Left and right. Shits, whatever they are. <clears throat> Alright, let's choose a scenario. Crash land, nah. 
Lost tribe, nah. Rich explorer, nah. Naked brutally, nah. Trigger, right. The Mahanitur, nah. We're not gonna have mechs because that shit is annoying. The Sanguovich? What? The Dark Stranger offered you the cure for your cancer. You were ready to agree to anything. He made you into a Sanguovich. An immortal blood drinker hated by thousands of religions. Oh, so I'm basically a vampire. Oh, it's RB and LB. Wait, what? <laughs> Bandits. I'm gonna go with some bandit action. Squad. Nah. Axis squad. Huh? Oh, I'm having like World War One and Two mods. Abandoned frontline. Drifters. Kind of want to be bandits though. L10 RT. Left button, right button. Yeah, I I've heard about it. But I, I don't really use controllers, so I don't really know much about it. Um, well, those are kind of interesting. I'm gonna go with bandits, though. I want to be a thug. After the last job, which was meant to be the last, you and other members of your gang were forced to run without looking back. <coughs> the only thing you have with you are the things you managed to steal, extort, or find along the way. Your savage ways have granted you a bad reputation and uh, mending relations with other factions will take a long time. Note, since you start with high wealth, every other faction hostile this is very difficult scenario your faction will be a new hideout start with four people player starting characters have a hundred percent chance to have their food set between 50 and 80 faction relation modify all factions that's pretty bad opinion on wrist watches eh. overrated you have your phone so Rich people problems, I'd say. So I don't care. I'll uh, start with... Just a clock? I mean, yeah, it is. There's no need for that. You got your phone. I feel like nowadays, watches are for only rich people to flex on poor people. Or some shit. Dynamite! No, bro. Yes, bro. The watch commanded is L. Community is L. Industrial, yeah. Just look like a clock. I mean, that's what they are. What? Brock Burger. Age to that. Alright, just in case. Mind you're too stupid. Thanks. <laughs> That's annoying, do that. Here's the factions. Okay. We got different types of Finland, different types of France. We got Germany, Germany, Axis, 
Different ties to Italy. But bro, I wanna get a watch as you're not allowed with your phone at school and you wanna check the time every now and then. I mean, I guess. I mean, there are cheap watches, but I don't see any point of having a watch. But you do you. Empire of Japan, different types of Soviet Union. United Kingdom, might. United States as well. 10 years watch. I mean, yeah, not not much. Could work. Now what are the other ships? Oh, I had a Red Dead Redemption mod as well. Pinkerton Agency. What's trappers? That's rim dead as well. Sure. Mm. A lot of times you want to check the town. Home because your, your grandma's probably more. I. Nah, that's it. There's already a shit ton of factions. Keep it at that. Uh, what is the seed gonna be called? Brug Burger? Let's see how beautiful Brug Burger looks like. <coughs> Hold on. I... Remoir. Rival. Who's our rival gonna be? There's even no tribes out here, but okay. Oh no, Soviet Russia allies. Of that, sure. I don't know if there's any point in even doing it. We're already starting with like people against us, factions against us. I don't have the latest DLC, though. That kind of sucks. Brug Burger looks pretty. Hmm. I would prefer if everything was connected together. That's not connected. Brock Burger, uh, V2. Stay hydrated. That's even worse. Maybe no spaces. <coughs> <coughs> Choked on water. Classic. Check the M's. Hold on. That looks like nicely connected. There's nothing. Never mind. Brug. Oh. I mean, you can still talk to me if we're not friends. But okay. Uh, 
I would prefer numbers, not Roman numbers or whatever the fuck. But uh, if you like it, good for you. But the color color looks nice, black and uh, goldish. Color is nice. I could say the error. Maybe it's in your settings. But I. I mean, fair. Um, I'd say let's live in like. Somewhere in here. Advanced. Let's go safe. Small, but the largest small. Pause. Spring. Everyone hates us. We'll see how that goes. You like Roman shit so it looks better in your opinion? Bit too plain. I mean you, you do you. Okay, what do we do? Hundred percent raider. We are What am I cannibalism? We'll do that. Big plus and collectivists. What is guilty? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Loyalist. Sure. That seems about it. You want it just lines, but it can barely read a normal clock anyway. Huh. Neo Justice. Uh, that sounds a bit sus. Mentals. Morbid and rustic. Rustic World War II as well. Might as well. Okay. Loyalist Collectivist Cannibal Raider. Watches you can find with normal numbers look ass. Aye, man. If you say so. Ravenous is crazy. Well, it's just too preferred. Required. Mm, a little respected. Drug use, medical only. Child label encouraged. Warp drive tripled. Line is horrible. Don't care. Don't care. Very fast. That shit annoying. Organ use acceptable. 
slavery are acceptable. Okay. Easiest thing is probably... This is a social festival. Let's do those. Since we really don't have a, a lot of friends, maybe some of them nearby faction goodwill. Well, we really shouldn't care. Nah, we don't care. Let's just do a uh, 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 random recruit. Random recruit. Random recruit. Random recruit. Oh, random recruit. And random recruit. That's fine. Mental shrine. And I guess that's that. Can I say? Oh, culture. Frontier. That looks good. Is one point six to one euros more expensive? I guess fair. There's so many rustic in World War Two. Hmm, which one to choose? I just keep it at that. Fuck it. All right. Mentals. Let's go. Should I add, uh, rename people that are in the chat? I'm going to a pool this Saturday, probably. Not 100% sure. Okay. That's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. That's gonna cock block me. Without skill blocker, we'll do abandoned child. Adulthood. ship right what sure bro got a dress on oh can't wait for your phone stand shit what sure when it's come oh your phone stand Okay. Uh, Brock Burger.
Whatever. Oh, you can't really color it. That kind of sucks. Oh wait, you can. The fuck was I coloring before? Oh. Nah, this is low key ass. Deal with that. Okay, bro, I'm taking way too much time. I'll uh, just go with something. Sure. the lurk sure I don't know. no I don't I, I'm not gonna only names and shit I don't wanna uh, touch on anything else Keeper, there you go. Great memory. Uh Very shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Skull. I'll put this spam. Spam should be here. Whatever for no one has spam. That'd be a guess saving. No, I fucked up it already. Goes here. That's fine. No minuses. That's good. Slow poke. Oh, it is what it is. Okay. We can have one more, more. One more, more. One mon. What? We can have one more. You beat up your brother. Duck. <laughs> uh, who else? Just chemical. <laughs> Who? What? Who are you? This guy's you. Is Wimp? I think Wimp is literally bad. 
gotta remove that. Turn that into um, where was a I don't know cannibal. There you go. Janessa Chemical Sims. Yeah. Ivan Sabin Tren for Spam Wells. Kind of fucked up here, but changed too much. Well, it says Mohensley. Alright. Guess we go. Here we go. <laughs> kind of loud. My bad for that. Audio. I don't know. It's kind of dookie. Now this is a dookie map. There's so much water here. Wake the fuck up. Well, that kind of looks... But, mm, it's kind of ass. Shit, I picked a bad map. Brug burger. Brug burger. Generate something good, please. Could that work? Nah, bro, they can spawn and yeah, nah, they can cook me up. That could be it. This could work. Dramatic fart one, you could cut off a bit. I don't know. Where the guys is at? One over here. We don't really need the geysers. Anything they take the room away. I guess that's good enough. If we would build, could we? I mean, I get that, but I don't know, bro. Oh, you actually could just block the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, well this could work then. Uh, let's do research already, so we know what we're working on. Small cows, we need to do that. And I guess we just do all of this first. the purple age first all right mm, think been a minute been a minute what do we do here assign no schedule anything work okay Firefight has to be one. 
patience gotta be one bed rest gotta be one now doctoring chemical chemical is the doctor interesting even if you're bad at doctoring I mean it should be a good priority life of death what are you what are you good at you're good at child care <laughs> you're good at being a warden entertaining cook you're basically a mom <laughs> gonna be the cook the game calls you <laughs> fuck this shit bad at hunting I'll still keep that though cut bad woman be the stove master what chemical is good at research damn bro chemical is kind of useful now he gonna be the researcher then I mean, doctor can stay at, it can stay too as well Bad at child care. Handle. Handling is good. I guess three. Hunting is good. I guess three. Oh, this is all bad. Art. I guess three. Crafting bad. Hall three. Clean three. What is spam good at? Good at crafting. The tailoring smithing. Good at hunting. Okay. Cooking bad, entertaining good. Handle, eh. Warden good. Basic, eh. Child gear good. Hauling. Mm. Okay, me. Eh, child care bad, basic, eh. Warden bad, handle. Bad but good? They don't make sense, but okay. Entertain bad, cooking bad, hunting bad but good. Construct good, growing good, mining good, quarry good, plant cut good, smithing good, tailoring good. Art bad, craft good, hall eh, clean eh, research bad. I got a lot of good points here. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, we'll see how this goes. This management. Okay, first off, this is kind of dumb, but. Let's mine this so the enemies can move through and they wouldn't attack us from here if, when we make a wall or some shit. Now that's smart, that's smart. Okay. Uh, we need a place to gather. I guess that'll be our gathering spot for now actually we already have like something in here whatever the fuck a little cave action um a bit messy in here Let's 
let's hope that won't collapse if it does we're cooked okay walls and shit wait what about uh, uh, production no structure it's kind of bad Let's just reinstall land random walls we found. Gotta make a wall in here. Wall this shit off. Actually, order, claim everything. Bumba Claw. Let me just reinstall. kind of cold outside minus six celsius that's kind of bad This will be walled off. Very nice. Now, basically, oh, this is another entrance. It just blocked the whole thing off. Yeah. And now, do we want to? Yeah, fuck it. Let's make another entrance over here. Lock this off. Now this will have uh, two entrances. Yeah. I like that. What the dog doing? This block. Start from here. Sure. Oh, I should have cut in the um, painting mod. This is gonna look low key ass now. But oh well. Okay. Lock this and a door over here. Oh, I forgot. Random mental states like fuck off. Random diseases like fuck off. Makes no sense. <coughs> there you go. We're good now. Been a minute, man. Forgot about it. Fuck it. Yeah, let's make a door there too. It looks better. All right. 
surely. It's snowing. It's three Celsius outside. How the fuck is it snowing? Okay. Should have a fishing mod too. Just keep realizing mods that I don't have. It happens. What is that sound? That's, that's a plan. Let's save it. <sighs> okay. First off, order and, and uh, 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 allow everything. Home area. No, 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 no. What the fuck? All visible things? No, how do I do allow everything? Need wood though, right? First up, we just need a whole zone. Storage, lol, for now. Order. Cancel haul all map items urgently. Do we have uh, beds? Ancient bed. Reinstall. Where should be our bedroom? Put it here for now. Bed. And bed. Uh, we're missing a one bedroom. We should probably install this here or some shit. Bed. Bed, 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 I don't think we have any beds laying around here. That was it. <gasps> Bang! Better than nothing. We win another bed though. There's no way we, we got full free beds here. 
esophagus. We don't need that. Yep, sticks in my eyes. Uh, why does that exist? Mechanoid thing is not supposed to be a thing. Uh, Brock Burger. I might have to cheat if we have mech enemies. Because I, I really don't like the space spaceships. What the fuck is this? Can you shut the fuck up? I already know that. <sighs> Sticks in my ass. Nah. Right. Stay hydrated. We should build a bridge or something. Bridge. That means we need to chop some wood. There you go. gonna chop some wood anyway so yeah starvation do we have any food with us no we actually don't wait we don't have food wait what We need someone to work on the trees. Isn't plant cut cutting trees? Yeah, so what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you're resting. Um, we just, I think, uh, we just have to do a butchering spot. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And a campfire. We got a turkey. We gotta hunt it. Got a rat. I guess hunt it. Another rat. I guess hunt it. A bunny. You can hunt that too. A hare. You can hunt that. A squirrel. You can hunt that. Turkey. You can hunt that. Raccoon. You can hunt that. Rat, you can hunt that. Rat, you can hunt that. Hare, you can hunt that. Skull, you can hunt that. Rat, you can hunt that. Uh, weapons, though, my guys. Who's good at shooting? Spam. 
course. Saban is too melee. Man, but melee is so ass. Nah, brother, I don't, I don't care. Look at the other revolver. We both have equal skill. Too good. Resting, how about you go hunting? Bills, butcher, do forever for now. All over everything. I think some animal got uh, aiding. No? All over everything. Oh, f uh, in the home area. Let's fix that. Clear. This is not our home. This is not our home. And I guess that's fine. Sure. Hey. Chemical. Oh, wait. You don't got a gun. Do we even? Yeah, dynamite is a bad idea. Do not equip that. Whatever you do, do not equip that. We need to hunt. We need to eat. Come on now. Oh, for now, let's do not put corpses here. Expand zone, put corpses here. Actually over here, because we're already chopping down. Uh, yeah. Already working on, okay. Good job, chemical. There we go, there we go, there we go. Bills at Bill. Um Cook a simple meal. Do forever, do forever. Allow all. Allow all. Saving was to cook. Missing No 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 butcher, 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 butcher. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Motherfucker. Do not eat the fucking raw food, you idiot. Huh? You got enough. Some dumbass is eating it, alright, GG. Happen with the other hello me and spam just stopped hunting uh brug burger Lazy fucks. We need food, god damn it. Stupid chemical. 
Kimmich will probably gonna eat that shit. Yeah, I knew it. Called it. You're gonna get food poisoning, dumbass. Spam. You need to hunt. And you need to hunt. Come on, man. We're starving in here. Get some food, bro. Actually, I, I guess you can drop it since you're cooking. Can they call a cook that? Lock and loaded. <sighs> we lost our door. I don't know how, but we did. Friendly fire, no. Bro just gave up. Butcher, man. Gotta get that meat. Gotta get that meat, man. Pause. Phone finally charged. Hey. Welcome back, man. I hope you're doing good, Spam. Neutral. Hey, same here. Hunting a rat. Hunting a rat. Don't like that this shit is here. Alright, Sabin. Can you? That's not that. That's that one. Gotcha. Game on Wasting Story, which you use a Discord build. Holy shit, you're OP as hell with guns. enemy what I three shot every normal enemy they were armor it's good defense you shattered their protection hey well that's pretty good gonna get food poison GG Sticks in my ass right. I go hunt Spam. 
them go hunt. Huh? Oh, you're butchering. I'll bet. Sabin, you go. What? Oh, you don't have a weapon. Can't make go hunt. What? Can you. There you go. Hey, good job, me. Sabin, you fucking idiot. Alright, GG food poisoning. Hunting a hare, butchering, saving, consuming rat meat. Can be called in Turkey, okay. Now I need to mark the moths that we need. I can just get it right now. Uh, it was paint. There you go. It was paint. It was oh 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 oh. I forgot. Made the right choice to use gambler perk. Max chance critical hit is thirty. That's a percentage of critical hits. Put in a critical damage, which already gets 100% more damage. It's OP because automatic guns can shoot a lot of critical hits when you get crit. Alright. Oh, it was chunks. Is it this? No. Like chunk wall or something. That was pretty useful. Either I put it wrong. Oh. Is this what I'm looking for? With mag on your automatic rifle. Good shit. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Eh, whatever, I can live without it. Let's see if I remember some mods. Welcome back. Get that turkey. Come on, chemical. Save and start cooking. I'm butchering. Watches and traced off to look for cases for your next phone. <laughs> you only made one mistake choosing a perk which you shouldn't have, but you think you'll be okay. Fair. Bro, why'd you give up? Keep hunting. That bitch about to die in four hours. Where's this game? Rimworld. It's like a survival game. I have a bunch of World War One and two mods, and some Red Dead Redemption mods. Looking for you and chemical. Yep. Minor break risk. I'm about to lose it. 
probably eating raw meat. Pause. You start butchering. Mark, you need to add yourself to once you can. What? I am in the game. Bro, I need to build the bridge. The water is slowing down. Well, um... I'm just doing by your uh, perks, that's all. You're bad at doctoring, but doctoring is useful, so I don't know. All two. You're uh, good with chilled care. You're good as a warden. Good entertain. Bad cook. Hunting is good. Construction mid. Grow mid. Mine mid. Quarry mid. Plant cut mid. Smith mid. Tailor mid. Ah, Smith Tailor kind of good. Art mid, craft good, hall mid, research mid. But yeah, just random skill points. Yeah, Sabin is uh, good at cooking. <laughs> Chemical is good at research. And I'm kind of good at constructing and cutting wood or some shit. We all got our perks. Can you start cooking? I don't want to eat raw meat. I really love this game. Bro, we're all gonna get food poisoning. Hunt the rabbit. Chemical is the word for something in research, so it makes sense he would do research. What? Saving cooking, spam hunting. I'm consuming uh, raw squirrel meat. Thanks. Are you serious? The chemical hauling leather. Okay. Camp. Butcher. <sighs> Food is still low, but it's looking better. Wildlife is uh, almost all dead in our uh, home area. Got this rabbit here. Chemical, we'll get to hunting. This is sus, though. Fuck, <laughs> it's gonna explode any minute. Save just in case. It's about a bust. Pad up here. That's great. Yeah, we need a research bench. Should probably do that. We need research. Steel wood. That could be reason. Is that water? I think that's water. That's kind of shit. Why the fuck did you act like that yesterday as a ghost? Nah, I, w I was on some different shit. 
Oh, that can be a little research area. Wait, no, this is bad. Enemies can go through here. That makes no sense. Nah, this is bullshit. I'm sorry, but I have to cheat. This makes no fucking sense. How does, uh, fuck that I do that? updated Rock. Yeah, there you go. I gotta do it because uh, some bullshit raid. And we can't build in this area. This shit is so dumb. This need to be cut off. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, can we send brain rot links? Yeah, I remember. He still does that, <laughs> but okay. <coughs> Got links. Sab as a girl? Uh, no. I mean, I changed everyone's gender to male. So maybe they were a girl. <laughs> Honestly, most of us were girls. But I changed our genders to male. The game costs more than zero dollars. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Oh no. Nah. That is not SpongeBob and this is not Patrick. Nah, bro. Flying Dutchman? Plankton looks so evil. Alright. More of this. Hey, like, let him run, bro. Why are you chasing him? Chill out. Oh, yeah. 
almost this time. Car spoke, what? The cat spoke? No? Was weird. I don't know. It sounded normal to me, but I. It's a retire. Hey, yo, Saban. Bro, we just stop, bro. You're out of breath. Bread. Swear you. Hey nerd, give me all your lunch money. I just spent it all on food that I- You sent me this. I remember. Nah, I remember. Well, someone <laughs> else did then. Come. The end is not the end for me. He will come. War with Russia may or may not be upon us. NATO, assemble. Alright, you two will be my backbone. France, channel your inner Napoleon. Germany, channel your inner... Uh... You know what? You'll handle logistics. Poland, you're my first strike force. My attack dog. Now I know you have a bone to pick, so when Russia crosses that border, I want to see you rip him to shreds. Tak! Show me your war face! Ah! I kill! Newcomers, you help Poland hold him off until the real help arrives. Canada, your job is... What, when's the last time you put money in your military? You know what, just let me fly sorties in your arctic. Aye aye, Captain! Your job is to not stab me in the f back. What is job of Baltics? Very important. You're the road pump, the trip wire, the Belgium. You let Russia mercilessly beat on you, so I have time to Road prepare. bump is crazy. <clears throat> PTSD. Oh, no, no. What did you do to the world? Oh, Barry. That's the beauty of all this. I didn't do any of it. You did. Think, Barry. Isn't there some little thing, some little good deed you might have yeah, done? America doesn't know if Romania exists. It is what it is. I saved her. I saved Mom. That's right. No, it wouldn't have changed what happened before her murder. Bruce's parents, Clark's landing. You broke the time barrier, Flash. Ripples of distortion radiated out through that point of impact, shifting everything just a tiny bit. But enough. I just wanted to save her. Oh, wait. You didn't stop JFK from getting assassinated or make sure Hitler stayed in art school. You saved Damn. your mommy. You missed her. And in a supreme act of selfishness, shattered history like a rank amateur. Turned the world into a living hell moments away from destruction. And I'm the villain? Shit. He's an asshole, but I mean, he got a point, though. Man, bro. Who was the? Lenor. Behoide. Pikachu, I choose you. <laughs> 
Pikachu. Blastoise. You use the attack which turns the enemy Pokemon into a fire type and sends it into an alternate reality set millions of years in the past where everyone is ice show speed. What? That was oddly specific. Yeah, well, Paternity couldn't come up with a better way to make this connection work. Who the fuck is Paternity? Pika, pika. Appreciate the links. And I show speed and Andrew Tate visit Romania and people still don't remember it. I remember. But I'm Bro, we need steel. What what is that turkey doing in our base? Didn't forget the new nickname? Oh, it's his own. I don't care, bro. You can call me whatever you want. That turkey. All right. What, brother? Get the butchering. Not refuel. Oh, we don't have wood. Cut that tree. Cook. Wait, what? You didn't kill the. What the fuck you doing, Spam? Killed the damn turkey. Got so much salami. What do you mean by that? God damn. Going ham. Okay, we need to build bridges in here. Because we don't have. We don't want to have water in our fucking cave. That shit dumb. Who doesn't? Get the butchering. Parents brought two packets of salami for no reason. Yeah, that's good. No. Salami doesn't expire fast as well.
Man, we need to kill some yucks. They don't attack us, right? Oh, no, no. Summit expires in two days. JKI. If the yucks uh, kill us, uh, GG. Yeah, they're not hostile. We're good. Hey. Good meats. Pause. What the sucker? Who is empty handed? Me? Finish the job, man. Spam is what? What the fuck are we all doing? Is there alcohol beer out there? Where'd the yaks at, man? The fuck are y'all doing, man? Second yak here. Where'd the third yak at? What the fuck? Oh, I think we killed the third yak. Can you butcher? Oh, is that the yak? That's the bird. Sorry, just They're holding leather. Oh, chemical! Hey, W chemical. He killed a yak. Can you butcher? There you go. Uh, me and Spam, we couldn't kill our yaks. Come on, man. Finish the job. There you go. Cut in the mop. And then uh, start cooking. Okay, this is a lot of meat. Pause. Pause, pause. Okay, Spam got his yak. And I am still uh, fucking around. Well, it's gonna bleed to death, so no matter that yak is gonna die. But I am horrible at shooting. Hell Sports Bombay, yay. A good clip. They didn't know you could clip on YouTube. That's cool. Are you serious? Watching the sunset, brother, kill the fucking yak. You had one job. There you go. All right, what's happening? Saving cooking, spam. Oh, chemical chopping it up. All right. uh, we're getting raided by Italy. with the yak I'm pretty far away that's not good well Sabin doesn't have a weapon so he probably can't do shit that's great So we got um, Everdinas, Kyle, and Hicks. Very italic name. Hmm. 
Okay, it's me, Chemical, and Spam against these three guys. 3v3, surely we win. You got scammed with phone support. Three when you are. How's the aim? Wait, can we stay behind this shit? Good shit. Someone shot him. Spam his shot. Uh oh. Spam down. No. And spam without medicine. Altismal cover. Self tend. Okay, that was close. Wait, is spam dead? We'll die in two hours. Chemical, come on. How good is your aim? Well, you're not here because you don't have a gun, but uh, all of our aims are kind of bad. Yeah, your aim is one. Chemical is one. Spam has the best aim, seven. But he got shot bad. Oh, I got two. I leveled up. Hmm. Hey, let's take their shit. Come on now. Hey, we got meat as well. Pause. Cannibalism. It should have been me and the gun enthusiast. Oh, we're gonna make it, right? Yeah, a chemical got you. He's healing you. Man, torso, right arm, left arm. You got shot in the heart and the right leg. How the fuck are you alive? Wait, what? <laughs> Spam got shot in the heart. Alright, W Chemical. He's healing you up. The fuck shot him? Well, the three Italian guys. I don't know. One of them. And me, I got shot in my spine, right arm, torso, in my neck. Okay. Best in shooting, you feel. Now, you got unlucky. I think they focused on you because you were the best or something. Guys, on the stove. Hey, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting them and I'm chopping them up. We, we do need meat. Pause. It is what it is. Meat is meat, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're fine. We wiped. Oh, shit. Blood loss. Um, chemical, can you heal me? <laughs> I got blood loss. Um, spam is unconscious as well. Blood loss. Wait. <laughs> I can't rescue spam. Why not? 
Oh, medical, that's why. Here you go, rescue spam. Might actually die. Nah, you're fine, you're fine. You're just unconscious. We'll fix you up. Same with me. Bleeding 69%. be winning what whining in pain i mean yeah you and me were both in pain chemical is collapsed he's overworked are you serious Save me and l let's fucking go. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> ah, surely we'll be fine. Let's see the links. Man, man, man. Hello. Being the president of a country is a dangerous job. No one knows this better than Vladimir Putin, who over 20 years has survived 43 different assassination attempts. Get ready to find state. out how Putin survived and how his. I'm no normal, as always. How about you? Six layers of security make him impossible to kill. Almost every year, Putin survives at least one assassination attempt. All of these experiences is partly why his security is so good, as they've had lots of training in real-life situations. Some of these assassination crazy, attempts yeah. were done very professionally, but thankfully good, for Putin, all of them were foiled. There was an attempt on Putin's life as soon as he became president back in 19... Bro, if you have so many assassins, that gotta be a sign that you're doing something wrong. In 99. Come this on, was bro. by the Russian Mafia. Putin had began cracking down on organized crime, which at the time was plaguing Russia. In retaliation, the Russian Mafia tried to bomb Putin's car. A bomb was bomb planted, it. but Putin's security found it. That's Some of the Mafia hate. members involved what? went to prison, while others were taken out. Nah. Later that year, Putin was almost assassinated in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan militants planned to assassinate Putin while he was there on a state visit. But the plot was uncovered and the militants were arrested. A year later in 2000, Chechen separatists planned to assassinate Putin. During his visit, a remote control Yo, bomb was music. detonated near Putin's motorcade. Several of Putin's bodyguards were injured, but Putin himself survived. In 2002, Putin was almost assassinated using a jar of poison jam. He was poison scheduled to jam. have breakfast at a hotel in Crimea, but Putin's food testers discovered the poison and jam before he ate it. Also in 2002, oh. Putin went to a parade in Moscow's Red Square. In a nearby building, snipers were in position to take out Putin. But the Federal Protective Service, or FSO, caught wind of this and swiftly arrested the snipers. As if 2002 couldn't get worse for Putin, he was nearly assassinated again. This time during a trip to Azerbaijan. An Iraqi man with connections Bro, to Chechen so many separatists arts. wanted to assassinate Putin. He planned to plant explosives under Putin. Putin's car. However, the Azerbaijan police discovered his plan. The man was soon arrested and later sentenced to 10 years in prison. The same year, another man tried to blow up years. Putin with a bomb. He planned to drive along the motorway next to Putin's motorcade and from his car detonate a 40 kilogram explosive. Luckily for Putin, the FSO found out. They rerouted Putin's Do I make other Brother, have you ever heard of Luatismo? No, I make mainstream music, not underground at all. Everyone has heard of me. <laughs> Brock Berger. Motorcade, while at the same time ambushing and eliminating the would-be assassin. In 2003, Putin was nearly assassinated during a visit to the UK. Two Russian men planned to assassinate Putin with snipers, but they were arrested by- No, I was being sarcastic. Prague. 
What? British officers from SO13, I which wish. is the UK's elite anti-terror police. The following year, the FSO discovered a plot to poison Putin's food. This was during a visit to a foreign country. Where this happened and who the perpetrators were remains classified. But it seems no food gets anywhere near Putin without being tested first. But some attempts on Putin's life are very close calls. In 2012, Putin visited Ukraine. During the trip, several men were arrested on the Black Sea. They were Chechen separatists who plan to take out Vladimir Putin. I mean, they yeah, it's good. Better than uh, nothing. True. It built various bomb vests. They had planned to blow up Putin and themselves. Gotta start somewhere, you know? But luckily for Putin, Ukrainian police arrested the men. By now, you're probably asking, how is it possible for Putin to survive so many assassination attempts? You might think he's the luckiest man in the world, but yeah. luck has nothing to do with it. It's all thanks to Putin's sick- I mean, yeah, but it, it's not much. I'm making two digits, bro. Slayers of security. So many fucking assassination attempts on Putin, yeah. That make him an impossible target to kill. Putin's first line of defense is the Federal Protective Service, better known as the FSO. Their job is to protect high up Russian officials by any means necessary. Their budget is a blank. I mean, I guess, but it's not enough to pay the rent. I don't think that's enough for food, maybe for a week. That's it check, meaning that no expense is spared when it comes to protecting Putin's life. The FSO's budget is classified, but it's believed to be in the billions of rubles. After all, the FSO employs over 50,000 people. Their training is intense, what? but it's nothing compared to the training of Putin's private army. In 2016, Putin formed the Rosgard. This is a private army which reports directly to Vladimir Putin, comprised of over 300... What? If I tell you, don't ban me. I can't promise you anything, bro. What do you mean, don't ban me? Nah, if you say something fucked up, I'm gonna ban you. What do you mean, bro? Oh, you are on the school user games. I don't think anyone knows you, right? I only know you. Okay, brother. Are you gonna change? Just, I'm just saying, uh, be high alert on this guy, cause, uh, yeah, he been he been breaking the rules. You already changed. We'll see. I've given you so many tries, uh, so many chances, and then I stopped. And forty thousand troops. Let me take the care. <laughs> No, nah, give it. <laughs> if he breaks the rule, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on him. It's been, it's, it's been a while. Guard's job is not to stop external assassination attempts, but instead to quell any internal threats to Putin. For example, coups or military takeovers. Putin's final human line of defense is the Presidential Security Service, better known as the SBP. Their job is to secure the president's life. These are the guys who will literally jump in front of bullets if they need to. The SBP are Putin's personal bodyguards. But as there's so many people behind the scenes, Oh wait, spam really remembers. Wait, spam was here? The huh. FSO and the Rosgard should have taken out any threat before the bodyguards even- Yeah, I, I gave him so many chances, but he still said it. Over and over and over. ...got involved. If Putin's bodyguards oh, ever need okay. to take action, this means over 2,500 people already failed in their jobs. Putin's bodyguards have insane training and a big responsibility. Instead of restraining any potential threats, their Maybe, directive yeah. is Damn. to take them out. They're authorized to Tom kill anyone fast. who they perceive or, to be yeah. a threat. Putin's bodyguards are not allowed to be ex-police. That's because their training and restraint <laughs> might make them less likely to use lethal force. Instead, Putin's bodyguards are mainly operational psychologists, psychologists coming from the highest ranks of Russia's special forces. They're trained in spotting potential threats simply by analyzing a person's facial expressions. Putin does not what allow his fuck? bodyguards to display any sign of weakness, meaning they must be equipped to deal with extreme temperatures. This means no sweating in heat or shivering in cold is allowed. Putin's bodyguards must be very strong and able to run for miles with no brakes. They also must be between 
19 and 35 years old, be between 5 foot 7 and 6 foot 2 in height, and weigh between 75 and 90 kilograms. They must also speak at least 5 languages and understand politics. Something you'll notice about Putin's bodyguards is they're always carrying briefcases. Hey Raj, hope you're doing good man. Deep channels are aiding the CIA propaganda? What? However, these aren't briefcases at all. Instead, they're expandable bulletproof, bulletproof shields. Yeah. Putin's bodyguards are also equipped with 9mm Gerza pistols, loaded with armor-piercing bullets. Yeah, Putin's bodyguards right also hold umbrellas. These do act as normal umbrellas, but they're made of Kevlar, meaning that they can double up as bulletproof shields. Aye, Some man. of Putin's bodyguards are even dressed in plain clothes. They blend into crowds, yeah. allowing them to get close to anyone they think could be a threat. Some of Putin's bodyguards will be far away, hidden in nearby buildings with snipers. Some sniper nests are clearly visible to deter any potential attacks, while others are stealthily hidden away. Putin's bodyguards also nope. check any room he goes into before he enters, making sure there are no explosives, cameras, or listening devices. They also examine and taste all of Putin's food, <laughs> making Putin impossible to poison. But Putin's six layers of defense don't just include humans. For example, Putin's limo. Putin already has an insane motorcade. Everywhere he goes, dozens of cars and motorbikes follow. Putin's limo is a Russian-made aura senate. The limo is bomb and bulletproof from every angle. It's even resistant to chemical gas attacks. There are tiny cameras fuck? all over the car, allowing Putin's bodyguards inside the car to see every- That's overpowered. Nah, hentai's ass, bro. Oh, wow. Every angle. There are even secret exits on the car's roof and rear. As well as. I mean, are there safe t t to watch on stream? You can put it here. various hidden compartments for AK-47s. But nowadays, Putin does most of his traveling by train. He does this using a so-called ghost train. The Putin's what? train looks exactly the uh, same uh, yeah, as any sure, other train in Russia. The only external difference are these signal blockers mounted on top. But there is nothing regular about the interior of Putin's train. The interior is very luxurious, complete with health and fitness centers, various offices, an entertainment room, and and even its own medical center. Oh, wow. The train is also bulletproof and bombproof. Putin's train only stops at secret train stations, which are dotted all around Russia. But how does Putin travel in the air? Well, while in Russia, Putin mainly uses his own helicopter. It's a reinforced Mi-8, which is the same model used by the Russian military. Putin's helicopter is heavily reinforced, complete with bulletproof windows, signal jammers, and anti-missile defense systems. It's also followed from every angle by Russian fighter jets wherever it goes. Putin's helicopter even has communication systems yeah, on board, he got so much meaning security. that if he wants to, he can launch a nuclear strike while in the air. But what about when Putin oh, wow. is flying out of Russia? If Putin has to fly far away, yeah. he uses his own plane. It's a heavily modified IL-96 300 <laughs> PU. Years. The plane has signal jammers and anti-missile defense systems, and basically operates like a mobile command center. Yeah, true, there are large didn't. offices inside the plane, meaning Putin can command soldiers um, and military officials from his airplane. He can even launch nuclear strikes from his plane. The plane even has sure. a secret escape capsule, meaning that Putin can escape if anything goes wrong in the air. The interior of the plane is total luxury, with gold decorations all over the place, as well as gyms, bedrooms, shower rooms, and more. Not surprising seeing as Putin's plane cost over 550 million million dollars. All of these layers of security make Putin an impossible target to kill. It may seem over the top, but seeing as Putin has survived over 43 assassination <laughs> attempts during his tenure, maybe all of this is totally necessary. And due to the ongoing invasion of Ukraine, Putin has a bigger target on his back than ever before. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. What are your uh, thoughts on Vladimir oh. Putin? Comment below. If you want to see my short video, Oh, Putin or oh, bad. Okay. Here's one fact about every US president. About Putin's plane. This game similar to this play. <laughs> president from Georgia. Now I'm I'm gonna go in order. I'll watch spam links first. But yeah, uh 
Check the link. Washington to the present day. Part one. One. Supposedly one of the reasons George Washington accepted the job of president was because the pay was good and he needed the money after the Revolutionary War. This allowed him to keep up with essential household purchases such as a leopard skin robe for his horse. Two. John Adams' opponents accused him of wanting to be a king so began calling him his rotundity as a play on grand royal titles. Three. Thomas Jefferson smuggled rice seeds out of Italy because they were supposedly more desirable than their US counterparts. At the time, nice. smuggling was punishable by death, which is a heavy price to pay for some good risotto. Four. James Madison was the shortest ever US president, measuring just five foot and four inches. Five. James Monroe died on the 4th of July. Incredibly, he was the third president to do so after Jefferson and Adams, which is kind of impressive considering that there's only been five of them at this point. Six. John Quincy Adams nearly shot himself in the face when trying to show his sons how to handle firearms. He accidentally tried to load an already loaded gun, prompting it to go off in his face. Classic. And that's the end of part one. Also, shout out to Secret Lies of the Presidents for a lot of these facts. Here's one fact about every US president from George- That was just boring. Bro almost shot himself in the face. Here's one fact about every US president from Wait, George what? Washington to the present day. Part 2. 1. Andrew Jackson was a maniac oh, who loved to duel, two. supposedly taking part in over a hundred during his lifetime. 2. Martin Van Buren was a man for detail, apart from in his own autobiography, where he doesn't mention his wife, Hannah, even once. 3. William Henry Harrison had the shortest presidential term in US history, lasting just 31 days before dying of pneumonia. This Oof. was potentially caused by the cold weather during his inauguration speech, which was, ironically, the longest ever given by a president. 4. John Tyler was never elected president, only coming to power due to the death of Harrison. As such, he was very defensive of the status, sending back any letters addressed to the acting president as opposed to just Whoa, the president. Bye. James Knox Polk was a famous workaholic to the point where he died just three months after losing office. Seems like he didn't know what to do with himself without his job. And that's the end of part two. Also, TikTok shout out to Secret Lies of the Presidents for a lot of these facts. Here's one fact. Here's one fact about every US president from George Washington to the present day. Part 3. 1. Zachary Taylor didn't last long as he was done in by either some off cherries or cholera infected water. Either way, I mean, he only lasted around awesome. one year in office. 2. Millard Fillmore was reportedly the most handsome man Queen Victoria had ever seen. Yeah. Sorry, Albert. 3. Franklin Pierce was such yeah. a bad president that the slogan of his own party for their convention in 1856 was Anybody but Pierce. 4. James Buchanan is the only president to have never married, though he did have a close relationship with William Rufus <coughs> King, with the two earning the nicknames Mr. Buchanan and his wife. 5. Abraham Lincoln gained the respect of a local gang by wrestling with their leader. Following this, the gang would supposedly sometimes come to Lincoln's debates to show support. And that's what? the end of part 3. Also, shout out to Secret Lies of the Presidents for a lot of these facts. He was a gangster. Here's one fact about every US president from George Washington to the present day. Part 4. 1. Andrew Johnson compared himself to Jesus while on the campaign trail, arguing that God had struck down Abraham Lincoln so that he could be president. 2. Ulysses S. Grant, despite being a war leader with a reputation for high casualty rates, was reportedly squeamish about blood and would often feel faint at the sight of it. 3. Rutherford B. Hayes had to be sworn in in secret over fears of potential assassination. This was because Hayes had lost the popular vote by around 250,000. 4. James A. Garfield was only president for four months before being assassinated because he didn't give a guy the job he wanted. 5. Chester A. Arthur lived for fashion, supposedly owning around 80 pairs of trousers. And that's the end of part 4. Also shout out to Secret Lies the Presidents for a lot of these facts. Here's one fact about every US... Bruh. Here's one fact about every US president from George Washington to the present day. Part 5. 1. When Grover Cleveland was drafted to fight in the American Civil War, he simply paid someone else $150 to go and fight for him, which was apparently something he could do back then. 2. Benjamin Harrison wasn't particularly interesting, but was the last president to have a beard. Till we meet again, old friend. 3. Oh, it's huh. Grover Cleveland again, making him the only president to serve non-consecutive terms. 4. William McKinley claimed that he didn't want to see the US in another conflict following his time in the Civil War. Despite this, he oversaw a dramatic increase in American militarism, including the Spanish-American War. 5. While Theodore Roosevelt was campaigning for a third presidential turn who was shot by a saloon keeper. Roosevelt would then go on to give a full one hour speech before eventually allowing his aides to take him to hospital. Yeah. And that's the end of part five. Oh, also I'll shout pay. out to Secret Lies of the Presidents for a lot of these facts. Here's one fact about every US pre Here's one fact about every US president from George Washington to the present day. Part 6. 1. William Taft was a large fella, getting stuck in the White House bathtub Fellas. so many times that he eventually ordered for a new, much larger one to be installed. 2. Despite Woodrow Wilson's austere no. reputation, many of his letters to Case his wife were pretty lusty, promising to assail her with innumerable kisses and a storm of lovemaking. 3. Warren G. Harding didn't think he was good enough to be president, but his wife, Florence, was set on the idea and played a large part in making it happen. 4. Calvin Coolidge tried to get through his presidency, saying as little as possible, often just giving no as an answer in press conferences. No. Five. Herbert Hoover didn't like seeing the White House's servants, and so an elaborate bell system was created to warn them when the president was near. And that's the end of part six. Also shout out to Secret Lies of the Presidents for a lot. 
Here's one fact about every US president from George Washington to the present day. Part 7. 1. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the seventh cousin once removed from Winston Churchill. More than that, he was also distantly related to a number of other presidents, including George Washington, John Adams, Theodore Roosevelt, of course, and many more. 2. Harry S. Truman is the only 20th century president to have never received a college degree. 3. Dwight Eisenhower's parents were part what? of a fundamentalist religious group that strongly believed in pacifism, and somehow Eisenhower would go on to become one of the most important generals in World War II. 4. John F. Kennedy was an infamous womanizer, having affairs with a number of women such as Marilyn Monroe and even in Bro, I literally say to have some patience. This is literally the last link. Brugberg East German spy. 5. Lyndon B. Johnson would often continue having meetings with staffers in the toilets while he went to the loo. 6. Richard Nixon became the Bro, got TikTok, uh, brain. only president to ever resign following the Watergate scandal. 7. General Ford <laughs> is the only president to have worked as a model, appearing in articles detailing how beautiful people lived in the 30s. To be fair though, this was him in his younger days. And that's the end of part 7. Also shout out to Secret Lives of the Presidents for a lot of these facts. Uh, all the links were safe, right? much time on the barren earth bro it's not gonna explode like in one minute all safe okay Yeah, no clue what I'm hearing. Plus Brug anime, oh, plus funk, plus Brug Burger. Hi, are you suffering from brain rot? Do you <laughs> 41 minutes. I think this video is for uh, Mr. Beats. Bro, watch other... Alusta kooli soodsalt koos jüskiga. Säästa kuni 60% sisemööblilt, tekkidelt, patjadelt, peeglitelt ja hoiukaistidelt. Osta ka eepoest jüsk.ee So you want to become smart. In most of the world, you're told that it takes 12 years of school, plus 4 years of college, plus 6 years of graduate school to become smart. But what you actually become is homeless. That's not even a joke. But on Homeless. the bright side, when you make a Reddit post about how you can't get a job, you can do it in- Well, Rod sent this link first, then your second link. In perfect English. If you haven't guessed by the title, becoming smart is actually very Sucks easy. to suck. Even if you think your genetics make you dumb, if you compare yourself to every other animal, you're actually pretty <laughs> overpowered. When people like you and me say we want to get smarter, bro, God, it means TikTok a bunch of things. Now, bro. We want to learn useful skills, ideally skills that make money. We want to be good at solving problems, hopefully for money. We want to get better grades and learn difficult subjects to make more money and also to flex on people. And lastly, we want to sound smart in conversation, just enough so people respect you, but not too much to the point where people think you're a nerd. The problem is most advice on the internet is so vague and philosophical that even if it works, the only people who could actually follow uh, it are Oprah and reacting. Socrates. Brug, and Brug. if you instead look for specific advice that you can actually try right now, uh, this out, is what Brug. you get. Eat blueberries cause they're brain food. Drink black coffee. Exercise. Sleep more. Take IQ tests. Listen to classical music. These things sound good, but at some point you have to, you know, actually learn stuff. Besides, even in the past, there have been some geniuses who have spent the whole day sitting at a desk getting two to four hours of sleep a day. So what can you actually Patience, do to get yeah. smarter? That's not just the same six brain hacks from a Facebook post copied and pasted from a WikiHow article inspired by a quote spray painted on a New York subway wall. The main thing you need to do is read. What kind of reading? It depends. Fiction is good for learning to read faster. And it gives you a better vocabulary. Oh, hell not, Harry also, Potter. if you read a lot of dialogue, it makes you feel like you have friends. But mm. most people go straight for nonfiction, which indeed is the key nah, to being able boring. to casually drop interesting knowledge in conversations. For example, just by reading this book, you can come off to anyone in conversation as someone who knows history. The key is to not be obnoxious about it. Crazy how we evolved from chimpanzees, right? 
Well, yeah. actually, evolution is non-linear, and several human-like species inhabited Earth simultaneously, none of which could even be remotely considered as chimpanzees. While this is considered polite by the standards of a YouTube comment section, in real life, saying well actually before proving well, someone actually. wrong will make you instantly unlikable. Change the well to an easy, and now we're talking. Let's redo that conversation. Crazy oh, how we evolved from chimpanzees, oh, right? It is crazy, right? You know, to your house I was reading the other day, and apparently humans and chimpanzees... <laughs> I always thought we evolved from them, but I guess we just evolved side by side. You can be smart while also being humble, and also sounding like you touch grass. The key is to teach people what you know, without making them sound dumb. This way, people will actually learn from you, which will make them see you as smart and respectable. Now, how do you find these books? It's actually really easy. You don't have to read the same five books everyone tells you to read. Boring. Just think of a topic you want to learn about, like cleaning. Now Google books right. about cleaning. Here's one that looks good. Usually, these books cost money, but if your finger slips, Boom. you might accidentally end up on this website, and you might accidentally search for the title of the book, and by chance, click on the first link, and oh no, accidentally down- Hi, right, I'll see you in the Brain Rot YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Peace out. Load the file, and opened it with the appropriate ebook viewer. Well, now that you have the book, you'll also find that not only can you pick out interesting tidbits to use in conversation, uh, post videos on YouTube and uh, TikTok. Yes, sir. But you can also learn many YouTube shorts. useful skills. There are 10 things you should know before you learn a skill. 1. Unless you <laughs> practice the skill, your brain will think it's useless and forget it. 2. You only have to know 20% of the knowledge to master 80% of the skill. Saw the gamble. What gamble? So I guess we could just move on. This is called the learning curve. It's a graph of how good you get at a skill over time. As you can see, just by practicing a little bit, you can make a lot of prog a gamble? progress in the beginning. But you have to practice. I no assume you won a lot? No one ever learned how to tie a Didn't tie that, by bad. watching how to tie a tie. You only learn how to tie a tie by watching how Skip to tie Skip your link. Okay. I mean, you linked it. You don't want to learn anyways. So what is this? All in and one? Okay, that is insane. You wanna react to this thing too? You guys are terrible for each other and you know I'm right and you guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. We do not, we do not care. I feel that TV shows and movies will never fail to entertain like I've seen good it, or no. bad. It'll forever be a medium that I'll watch. But Same the main thing that gets me to stay watching are the characters. I've always been drawn to the characters being my main focus of a series. Whether they be smart or dumb or skinny or fat or ugly or Asian, I don't care as long as they are mm. likable and interesting characters. I care so much about characters that a show could have a 10 the out of 10 story and plot. Like I'm talking peak storytelling. If the characters suck, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. That's just the way it is. Simple. Likeable characters is... No, why did you went all in though? The main thing that keeps me interested. So when a show has dang near the Crazy. whole cast of characters be great, I applaud that. That's a very hard thing to accomplish. But sadly, that's a reality that comes. Estonian food, what? Was every solar eclipse. Cause every show has those few characters that just make your booty itch in a bad way. Like you just use poison ivy as toilet paper. Those kind of characters suck. I hate them and they're annoying. And in this video, I'll be ranting on some of these characters that grind my gears in shows and movies that I like. And what better character to start with other than Bert? I don't know. Something about him just gives me a bad vibe. All right, next up we got Ryan from The Office. Now I, I always I've dislike it. these kind of smart ass characters in shows. It just annoys me when characters oh. talk shit about others when they themselves have literally nothing to back it up. Ryan well, that is that times infinity. Oh my god, I just wanna spit in this nigga's face. The entire show, this man is acting like he's the big man on campus. But this man is a loser! His head is so far up his own ass that he think he better than everyone else. 
And this man never changes for the whole series. Literally, first to last episode, he is the same character. There ain't nothing to like about him. And he ain't even funny. Also, I just hate looking at this man's face, man. I, I don't know why. I His don't think I hated him. reminds me of that balloon from Phineas and Ferb. I just want to <laughs> pop him. Right, well, he does look like it. the new show that got all the Twitter white girls crazy. Euphoria. Oh, and the character, poison. Oh. Kind of everybody, but mainly Casey and this right. girl. Oh, my God. But before I talk about them, I have to ask. Never heard about it. Why is there so many dicks on this show? Like, just why? Every single episode, what? you are met with at least five wieners. And that's just the minimum. I remember when uh, I started watching Euphoria last year, when visiting my brother at his place. And I was on episode two. You know, the locker room scene. And I was watching this in the living area. And my brother has roommates. And one of them saw me watching that scene. Wieners, wieners everywhere. Some of them were dancing. Why were they dancing? I can see through my peripheral vision that this man was judging me. Bro, I know he was weird. thinking. Oh yeah, that boy gay, I see that. My masculinity was hey, draining yo. away at that moment. Thank God he knew what the show was. Cause if he didn't, he probably would have thought I was trying to get freaky in the living room watching this. I didn't sign up for that. I was expecting some Zendussi when watching the show. But yeah, tangent over. Uh, let me talk about the actual characters. Um, greasy hair. Uh, okay. There's only a few characters I actually like or care about in this show, and I can name them in one hand. Rue, Fez, Muslim, Black Guy. Everybody else I either hate or feel indifferent towards them. Like, yeah, huh. they exist. Like, quick example, Jules. Now, I kind of liked Jules in the first season until she wanted to run away from home. Like, I didn't understand why she would think that's a good idea at all or what the hell she was thinking. And then she came back and became jealous of Rue's new friend and then proceeded to cheat on Rue with the man she didn't want her seeing. Okay. You, that made me not like Jules anymore, but I never liked this bitch oh my god her. what's her name cat no wonder why i hate her ever since she started her empowerment phase which was just her being a thought it was all down hey, but there ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe well th that's a lie i do have a problem with being a hoe but th not because she's a girl a man hoe is just as bad i just hate how she's trying to sell this lifestyle as some kind of bad bitch energy <laughs> but it's not you just a that behavior don't look good on nobody, no matter the gender. Now you could do whoever you want, however many times you want, that's none of my business. But I'm not gonna act like being a hoe is a likable personality trait. And if you disagree with me on that part of her character, fine, but she's also an asshole. Like her breaking up with Ethan, lying, saying she had a brain disorder, then he caught her bullshit, then she proceeded to gaslight him by saying he's gaslighting her, and oh my god, that oh, whole wow. scene just oh made me wanna fucking Ew. punch her to another dimension. You gotta watch the scene yourself to see what I mean. It's on YouTube. You don't need context to see why she's a bitch in this scene. And also that scene where her sex tape got leaked and sent during high school. That, that's very bad. And the principal got news of it and called her to his office and they both like, yeah, I've heard rumors that you're the girl on the tape. Why? Because we're both quote unquote Fat? No, cause that's you on the tape. Look at it. That's you. That's you right there. That's you on the tape. You can't see her face. Are you trying to assume me and her body types are the same? Oh, no, I don't need dumb, to assume. People. I'm looking at you right now. I can sue the school for what? making these accusations against me. And she won the argument. Yeah, I never liked Kat. And I forgot I'm supposed to be talking about Casey too, so I'm just gonna make it quick so we can move on from Euphoria. Yeah, Casey slept with her best friend's boyfriend and is also weirdly obsessed with them for the entire season two, even though they have no chemistry at all. And also, Nate is Nate. Imagine that your is name's crazy. Cat. Yeah, she's just been annoying to We're watch like all dog. season two. Just look at her through this window. Any animal. Scene. Demons, but she do got some pretty big honkers. I'm not gonna lie, so that's pretty lit. All right, let's move on from this seven out of 10 to Jenny from Forrest Gump. I've watched Forrest yeah. Gump like eight times, no exaggeration. This Never is a phenomenal it. movie that everybody and their dogs should see. This is a goat tier movie with damn near no flaws. The only flaw is Jenny. Jenny is not a likable character at all and low key a bad person. The only reason I'm rooting for her is because I want her to get with Forrest That's because amazing. that'll make Forrest happy. But. Forrest doesn't deserve a woman like Jenny. Jenny was very dumb and self-destructive. 
willingly, always leaving Forrest for years at a time just to get trains ran on her by every dude she met. She's been blacked. God what? knows how many times. Like, every time her and Forrest met up as adults, it just went like, Hi, Forrest. I know you love me and I love you too. But I'ma run away with these hippies and Black Panthers doing crack and having them run trains on me for the next, I don't know, 20 years. What? Is that fine with you, Forrest? Okay, Jenny. My nigga Forrest, why are you fine with this? She belongs to the garbage disposal. And you could say, oh, she had a bad childhood and she didn't want to get Forrest mixed in her mess. She didn't need to be in that mess in the first place. She chose that. At the end of the day, she's a grown adult that can make her own decisions. Both and bad. she chose the wrong ones. While good ones were right in front of her face. And that's the reason why I don't like Jenny. Moving on to... Alusta kooli soodsalt koos jyskiga. Säästa kuni 60% sisemööblilt, tekkidelt, patjadelt, peeglitelt ja hoiukaistidelt. Ostaga e-poest jysk.ee Old Spice. Parfüümi kvaliteediga teodorant. Lõhna tervitus mehe ikka. To the next and last character that makes me want to gouge my eyes out. Uh, Naoko from A Silent Voice. I feel like... Yeah, I'm good on that. Oh. Uh, I guess that's it. Crazy how Beats couldn't wait for like what? How much is that? Like 14 minutes. Time for Jackbox True. Why do you link a Spotify? What? Since when do I listen to funk? I'm good on that. <laughs> I don't listen to funk, my guy. Alright. Jackbox, all right, Jackbox. Mods are gay, what do you mean? What? Let's see. Not sure if me and Spam will survive, but we'll see. All right, Jackbox. Uh, y'all down for p roll? You need to roll? Okay. Can you change the category? Or I mean, I mean, I could do it myself though. But. Hello there, test subjects. Sign in with the room code, then take a picture or draw yourself for our records. Box nine is on sale.
Huh? No, it's not. I mean, it's on sale. Alright. We got Spam, Raj, and Sabin. For you, it's Sabin on sale. Maybe there, I guess. Normally, if it's sale on Steam, Welcome that's the models. best percentage. If you experience any nausea during the experiment, sale. try to throw up in one of the empty beakers. Here at the lab, we've right. spent years. Ah, you've been on the tour before. Give me a category to start us off. Ideally, something everybody knows a little bit about. I guess. Rate your pick. Oh yeah, tr tricky. Mm. I mean, for the time you had. Which emoji are you most guess, likely like, to include in a message? I don't know, seven so, out of ten. So on your device, you've got the names of your fellow hey, lab rats. Drag Hope each one good. to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each roll. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their rolls, we'll check out the results. Yes, I don't know. Let's find out who you are. Doing good at that. Let's look hey, at those votes. That's what's up. I'm doing normal. Giant yeah, eyes. Yeah, I call that pretty conclusive. Damn. That's our winner. Yippee! Should have done 99%. I like 99%. to reward my lab rats for positive behavior, so I'll give you guys these Come nutritious science pellets. <laughs> Whenever your answers match the group, whoever has the most at the end oh, is my no. lab rat of the month. Plus, they taste like meat. Who's me? Pause. Flexing arm. Take out the outliers. Hooray! Is it arm day again? Trying to bring juice. I'll take it as a compliment. Classy. Poop. And your 99% guess was 100% right. Poop it is poop. Subjects who already have a role don't need another one, so let's lose these votes. Saving that I was eggplant. Easy, partner. Nah. That 99% guess paid off. Oh well. Tomorrow's story. Here's where we ended up. And here's how many science pellets everyone has. Don't wow, forget, we're you get tied those tasty up, pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the winning test subject. <laughs> What's our next category? Man, these are all kind of ass. Picture on Instagram are each of you. Okay, make those matches. And make sure to tap that 99% next to the role you're sure you're right about. I'll say. Go with that. 
sure. Fuck it. Let's see that data. I don't know me. Oh wow. Heaven is Raj. an out of focus cloud through a porthole. Oh, you have a dog? Shit. Is your dog even verified Wait, though? Man, I sold. Honestly, good for you. Yeah, you did post food. Probably should. Winning right now. Damn. Okay, we've got some solid info on each of you. Now let's run the numbers and see if anything interesting pops up. Based on your roles, you're total opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. We're gonna Dependable pit you against each card. other and see who wins. Right. When Beyonce asks why you're interviewing to be her next executive assistant, what do you say? I want both of you to write an answer that really plays up the characteristic above you. Say the rest of you will decide who spam wins. Wild card. Who does it better? Okay, there's the data. I can vote do. on your devices now. Well, this is too long. Everything, I assume. Yeah, that's not really wild card. Looks like a tie. Let's go with what the supercomputer predicted and give oh, it to wow. you. Oh wow! Surprisingly, 50-50. And spam got points. Oh well. I thought saving one clearly. Okay, choose your final category. Bald calls like you're doing crazy. That wasn't really crazy, but okay. I'm gonna play Call of Duty. Oh, all right. You do you. Which profession best suits each of you? Let the truth ships. telling begin. Professions. Well, this should be easy. Let's see who's who. Surely I'll be a poet, right? I mean, I'm a rapper. Words fail. Raj, why didn't you go with me? Come on, man, I'm a lyrical genius. Man, El Raj. This Peace could hole. be the start of a dynasty. Emperor, yeah, spam. Fishmonger, I don't know. Saving. You smell like carp. Mmm. Zombies the best, if you say so. And Dr. Raj. I'll follow up with oh. you in three months. Alright. Hey, I'm coming back landed. up. 37. That's disgusting. One last thing before we Holy close the book on shit. this experiment. Let's see what else we can determine from your roles. So much points. You two. 
Your roles tell me you share a common personality Mr. 99, trait. yeah. I can't stand not knowing who's better. I both you are aggressive. You and your other single friends are out at a club. What's your goal for the evening? Who does it Answer better? Answer the prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. Seems the most ass Vote on your way devices possible now. and annoying anywho. Cause massive bar fight and try to steal a tank from him. A tank in a bar. I don't know. I mean wow. that seems this pretty was the role aggressive. You were made for. Raj, it didn't seem aggressive at hey, all. Hey, we've got all the data we need. Here come your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. It's already winning? Then why not even try? Not so strong academic traveler. Not very loyal, watchful animal lover. Grumpy, hungry artist. And my favorite I mean, lab rat yeah. with the most total science pellets is... <laughs> it's not wrong. Super powerful, sassy, mega wild card. Okay. Yeah. Um. I guess we'll see. Voting time. four of us we could do push T call and I guess we could do a roll again if we want yeah they got me pretty good gotta pull just <laughs> Bro still wants to apologize. <laughs> Call of Duty after it's done updating. Alright. You do you. Alright, murder joke push. Damn. Mm. I guess I have to pick. All right, fuck it, push. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll go push, joke, and murder. I mean, last time I wasn't an alien. Or your dog will get it is crazy. After that, you're not gonna be playing Jackbox. Well, you're gonna join? Manual? We got Spam, Sabin. Oh, you're not gonna play. 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, F for Sabin. I guess that's Raj. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You snooze, you lose. Don't change your name, so why not? Why would we? So we'd know who's who. Sorry to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, yeah, yeah. or Dotty, have detected I'm an mogus, alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. No. I have determined right. that one of you is secretly an alien. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Uh. By my calculations, you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the alien is and then push the button. You will be our first captain. Oh, I'm first. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Uh, Drying pot? Uh, you know what? Two sabins, so let's go. You have entered the drawing quarters. <laughs> Drop so, uh, prompt Raj on your device. And you actually draw. No words. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up the pace. Checking the call of duty on the eye. <laughs> Save is still drawing. All right. Here's the prompt humans should have received. Draw, Draw a life left raft. raft. So, let's see how they life responded. Raft. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Uh, I mean, isn't isn't life raft like a rubbery thingy though? Not not like a ship ship. They're both sus, no. That's not a life raft, right? That's like a ship that's saving. We're us. on the clock here, people. So let's keep it going. Isn't life raft like a rubbery like boat thingy? Next captain, please. Without a flag. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than ten minutes. Wait, no. <laughs> we, we got two aliens. <laughs> we got two aliens. No, bro. <laughs> Writing test initiated. <laughs> two aliens. Okay. Write an answer to the prompt on your device. know any I'll just do that just my luck to get invaded by aliens you can't blame it I don't know his actual name Here's so I put prompt. his acting name the actor or actress I want to play me in a movie is... Walter. Okay, what can we do? Johnny Depp. Whatever his name. 
I think that's his name. I don't really know actor's name. I know Walter White, but I don't know. Reach halfway clock speed up. We cannot waste time. True. I think you write it exactly right, Johnny Depp. New captain selected. It's spam. Could be you, Raj. I don't know. Let's all agree to meet back here okay. one year from today, but you have been selected to give your opinion. Do Answer I have the a question on, on your device. But save it. Spam, yeah, we'll see. Here's the prompt humans should have received. Shoplifting is a victimless crime. Strongly Do afraid. any of these answers seem suspicious? I mean, I guess... Yeah. You're hacked? What? This virus is getting on my nerves. Let's figure this out. And the title of captain has been passed. On order. The store is the victim. Wait, true. No bioscanner. This would be a lot of fun with the... yeah. You have selected the writing pod. Alright. Let's see if there's any weird responses. And the human prompt was... My favorite beverage is... Easy. Come on, Pepsi. Y'all know I fuck with Pepsi. Water? Really? Just water? Hmm. You fuck with water. You don't have a favorite drink? Just water? Okay. I don't know. Next, Captain. You're on the clock. <laughs> alcohol beer. No alcohol beer, of course. Oh, me. Um. Draw? I have to suss on. Raj? Fuck it, I'll do spam too. He's been tested only once. Alright. Get your drawing fingers ready. What they draw could be quite revealing. Draw faster. True. Did I mention that if humans use all of their buttons Time is without ticking. success, you lose? Well, you do. Roger's done. Can we close here there? <laughs> Alright. Humans received the following prompt. Draw a pine cone. Pine cone. Anything odd? I say no letters. Rods cheated. Uh, that's awkward. Hmm. 
We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Yeah, spam is sus. Pinecon is literally like from like the fucking It's it's like it's like a uh like a this thingy, I don't know. Kinda looks like a butt plug. Guest here, I'm pretty sure you're not leaving already. Nah, we, I, we, bro, I've been telling no writing on the art drawing shit. Brug Burger. I'm tempted to just vote Raj out because he fucking cheated. I don't think cheated. I can keep the ship together much longer. When gang. the last Next time? Captain. Go, go, go! Didn't I tell this time either as well? There's less than three minutes. I know 100% last time. Uh, Raj? Yeah, spam could be. Do we really have time for writing? Okay. And here's what humans saw. Something I do every morning is... Okay. No. No time to talk. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> nah, this is bullshit. I say, like, what do I hate the most? Choke... Wait, what was that? Welcome <laughs> Choking to my dick. Since Wait, you what? To push the button. Boom, no. isolate. Since this is our first time here, you have two minutes to decide. Just straight up. Now the non-isolated member shall vote. I'm in. Okay, time to vote. The vote has to be unanimous. If anyone votes no, we'll have to go back to the I minute. mean, that does look sus, but... The vote has failed. Nah, bro. All Whoever it was, it kept it. Until you can all agree. Kept the last one. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. There's less than two minutes. Got your ass. Boy, I feel like it's spam. You kept the last one. I don't know. Come on, drawing is the longest one. Bro, one minute. One minute. Um. Fast. Humans got. Draw a super, super villain. villain. Less talking and more button pushing, please. I mean, spam that could be anyone, no? And what is Raj? Is that like a. That looks like a devil. Tell me you got it this time. That was Auditor. Whom will you isolate? Bro, I don't know. You only get one minute, so act quickly. Um, okay, time to vote. Oh no, he could be. Fuck. The vote passed. I don't know. Could be playing main mind tricks. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I sold with the smoke. Yikes. Oh my. <laughs> Shit, y'all got played. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to be an alien though. Fuck. I keep getting the alien. So many. I got lucky, bro. 
the smoke was the only thing. <laughs> Done with this game, you're not playing anymore. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Game Welcome is game. aboard. I'm Chuck Hall. I'll be your host tonight. Please sign in. You're playing this game? Oh, you ain't playing? I mean, it's, it's fair. It's fair. Fair. Alright, something chill. Jokes. Toot, toot! We gotta scoot! You have quest choose something that doesn't take much effort. Uh, does they, this take a lot of effort? Oh. I don't know. Let's move it, people! Alright, Sabin. Raj and Spam? <laughs> Spam. Comedians, here's tonight's itinerary. <laughs> yada yada. Yeah. Moving on. Okay. Just like my premium cable bundle, this writing exercise is ending soon. All right, it's joke writing time. Follow okay. the steps on your device to construct. Okay, let's get to it. You know the drill. Mm -hmm. Who put I don't know, Brug? We're at the halfway point. Stuck? Then hit the joke for me button. Time's almost up. I guess. I don't know. That's what I got. You, you, you ever notice how cruise line captains drive like this, but barge captains Spam drive like this? Spam is chemical today. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, here's our first comic. Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh, Raj. Not Spam. Mm-hmm. 
You ever notice how jalapenos are just a fancy version of jalapenos? Yellow pines. I don't know about that. Oh, human or something. Oh. Don't forget your catchphrase. I'm so dumb. I thought tornadoes were Queso's fart blasts. I, I mean, he's a big guy. Bad. Nice job, you two. Well, Judges, which one was what better? do you think? Makes no sense. What? Queso is huge as shit. Fuck you, man. Brug Burger. Fart Make some tornado. noise for our next comic. Tornado is air. Fart equals air. It's kind of air. Man, Brug Burger. Autism. Have you ever tried coming? That's when you jerk off so much to something. I mean, yeah. I guess. Alright, spam. Why are they called bats? And not human soup? Okay. Okay. That was like an actual joke. Wait, that's kind of true. comedian told a better joke? Wait, that Look was like now. an actual joke. Well, this that was, uh... Uh, the helping thing. It was joke for me. Fair enough. I mean, you got it. Safety. Alright, let's hear it for our next comedian. <sighs> this is gonna be a bad one. What's the difference between most people and a little autismo? Most people party and black out. Cause you know, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Real funny, yeah. I'm a nasty little bikini. Because I'm always dirty and see tits. Yeah. Fair, fair. I sold. Here's another comedian, whether you like right, it or spam. not. Marriage is a lot like my life. It sucked, but with a knowing sex doll bitch. I guess. Boy, spam versus spam. Ah, uh, Raj. I call my bedroom the shipwreck. Because, come on, you know why. No, I don't know. Um, I guess. Yeah. Oh! I actually went with Raj. Hmm. Okay, you jokers. Let's tally the scores. No problem. And I'm last. Oh, this is ship shaping up to be a hot uh, night yeah, of I saw. and ha-ha's. <laughs> You've got the wind in your... Yada yada. Moving on.
We've hit the halfway point. No, this I cooked kinda cooked on the second one. Kinda, kinda, kinda. I'll sold your se your second. Fair. All hands on deck and put them together in a clapping motion to welcome back our comics. All right, Raj. A group of reality shows walk into a bar, and the bartender says, How come the voice ain't with you? I guess. Alright, spam. Again. <laughs> spam versus spam. You ever notice how spam looks like a beta version of Satan? We don't even Which know how you look like, though. Joke. We don't even know how you look like. Oh, wow. 1-1. One, one. Oh. Oh. Let's keep things going for the next comic. Okay. Alright, uh, Sabin. You still like it? Fair. My doctor said I have a bad case of the soap operas because I keep singing in the shower with soap in my mouth. Okay. Okay. This is kind of an inside joke. I want to open a store that only sells trampolines and call it the tampon shop. Get it? <laughs> Which joke was funnier? Vote now! What kind of GG? Raj wasn't in here. Oh well. The tampon shop. Yeah. He remembers. <laughs> Our next comic needs no introduction. Trampoline, tampon, yeah. <laughs> I read tampon, I don't know how. My family's like Peter Pan. I killed a bunch of kids and my family and now I'm stuck in animatronic soup. What is this, Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh no. Alright, Sabin. Hey, really enough done, of course. I like my friends like I like my rap songs. It's depressing and fun. Uh, yeah, sure. Rap and Peter Pan together. Mm. Ah. Let's hear it for the next performer. This is kind of ass. How many children does it take to change a light bulb? Three, one to screw it, and two to fight the third one, right? I mean, children just fight each other. Maybe that was a good one, I don't know. Alright, Raj. I have more I don't know than I do know. Nah, crazy he used the I don't know. Wait. 
No, why was it? <laughs> you know, yeah, fair. That was actually funny. I don't know how you made it funny, but you made it funny. And some credit <laughs> to you! The I don't know actually worked. <laughs> okay, you jokers. Let's tally the scores. <laughs> Bro. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. <laughs> that Raj could. Well done, Span. You mean Span? You rigged the votes again? Well, we're okay. sinking again. Okay, let's get to it. You know the drill. Maybe I, I cooked. Women and children go in the lifeboats first. Never loved the Everyone round. else, stick around and welcome back our performers. I cooked too, too uh, late. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm a nasty little bikini because I was thrown in a cum jar and sold in eBay for 10k. I mean that is that is a nasty little bikini. A real clash of the titans! Who didn't vote? On top, I thought I... Yeah, I'm last. What are they called bats and not to you win, motherfucker? What? Did they successfully beat this joke? Vote now. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I save it. I have more I don't know than Matt's pack when he's trying to solve the FNAF, bro. Just how to use the I don't know. You straight up gave up? What? Bro, that's a loser talk. Man, my doctor said I have a bad case of the soap opals because I don't know what. Break. At least 
least try. It's time to sink or swim, meaning a the winner gets a life vest, and the rest of you, well, let's see those scores. Bro, safety, no? Whatever. Saban. Wow. You got so much points. Oh, there's no safety. Oh. My bad. Man, I suck at this. I guess we wrap it up. It is late. No murder. GG. It's worse than not last. Yeah, you did good. Um, who do we raid? Do we raid someone new? Yeah, another Jackbox that I was thinking. Tutorial. Need a room code? You got it. B H W O. Remember, folks, if you're enjoying the stream, um, I would obviously huh? love a little follow. <laughs> Am I right, Mr. SpongeBob? Ah, uh, he don't smoke. He joined. No way. So I, I feel like the blunt hair thingy should be higher and it should be smaller. Huh? You're not a evil brother. Tradition, писать утка. Сейчас этого нет. You don't even look like a dinosaur. Russian Jackbox Olympic training. The fuck? There is Jackbox Olympics. Fuck you, me. Russian. No camera. Oh, no. Not English. Russian, Russian. Russian. So many Russians. A mobless Jackbox. Not English. Bro, where's all the English? Let's buy one of his shirts. Hey, Frankin. Frankin. So. Big shit. Oh no. Oh. I guess. Time for one, maybe two matches. No. Hey, Brock Burger. No. Hey, Brock Burger. Facts. Uh. Why am I so dry? <laughs> uh, you should be asking your husband. No. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was, oh Joe Susie. I don't know. It, 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 I couldn't think of anything here. Uh. All right, here's the board. In this I mean, maybe. Two medals to give to your two favorite clips. Bumper butts, wisely. baby pump punch. Oh my God, like that a bad like. Uh, so what <laughs> shop can be? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the joke was too easy. Uh. I don't know. Maybe. I like bumper. Why is it so loud? Oh my shit! Oh, that's it. I'm woke now. Is this a good stream? Okay. She's like the most normal it's, guy. Okay, it's only 2,000. Maybe, maybe LGBTQ. ask doesn't win. Wait, autism? And we're finished. Show me those final scores. Gay Lakey autism. Oh, stop. Yay, I lost. A fellow brother in who's autistic. Damn. He's in the gay side, though. Not forgiven. Um. God. Yippee! I'm not laughing. Blakey, you won. 
I'm just glad Ask lost. Like, that was the main thing I wanted to see. I want to do one more game before we end stream. Oh. Um, He's ending the stream. Because I was planning to only do, like, two games, maybe three of Jackbox and ending stream, but we've already uh, done, like, four. <laughs> so we're only doing we one stream? more, and then I'm ending stream. Bro, it's literally ending the stream. Is that okay? That's okay. Raid I'm deciding it's okay. Let's see. Raid Z. Um... For another day. Oh, well, let's do a uh, a fun one. Mm. Please, sir. May we have more games? I guess I'll bookmark it. Uh. I don't want to follow. If I follow, then that will again? probably notify him. We I'll already done drawful. I don't know. Zoltan. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess. I feel like I keep raiding this nine, guy forever, though. Ten. Dude, I swear I thought Protection 5 was the max. Am I? Is, is that not true? I mean, Z is cool, but... I feel like I keep raiding this guy. As always, love all your mentors. Hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. So, peace out and a uh, good night. Not that guy. It didn't work. Oh. <sighs> That's kind of awkward. Oh, uh, Brug Burger. Brug Burger Raid, I guess. Um, automatic farm, but I know how to do it, so. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You can't get protection 5 on Bedrock either? Oh, so he's capping then. <laughs>